Mo ho ho, Mo Beer, back with the beer advent, December 22nd. Beautiful snowy day here in New England. Uh, if the weathermen are correct, we're actually going to have a white Christmas. We're going to have snow through Christmas Eve into Christmas. It is perfect. We've got the stockings hung by the bar with care. I've actually got my Red Sox stocking here. Empty, Dave Dombrowski, nothing yet. Let's fill that stocking. Yankees are piling up. Can't let this happen. Uh, that's my Christmas wish there. So today, a uh, little bit of a story. Yesterday, I did my beer review, and within minutes, I hear the doorbell ring, and uh, UPS was here. And UPS dropped me this big, huge, heavy box. I go in the house, I open the box, and in it was all of these beers that you see in front of you here from uh, a friend. Um, and so business first. So uh, first of all, again, I want to thank everybody for watching. This has been a whole lot of fun. After the beer advent, we'll continue to do some beer reviews, one, two a week, maybe more sometimes, just depending on the mood, depending on the beers, just depending on the environment. Try to take it outside, go to some bars, go to some friends' houses. Get a lot more people involved uh, as we do it. Uh, you can watch these videos on my personal Facebook page, Mo Moral. You can watch it on the Tyrike, T-Y-R-Y-K-E bar page on Facebook. You can watch it on Instagram on um, Mo Beer 7. You can see it on Twitter, Mo Beer 7. You can see it on Twitter under Mo Moral. Uh, you can see it on my YouTube page, which is also called Mo Beer. So plenty of places to watch it. We're getting about... Uh, you know, anywhere from one to 2,500 views uh, per video. I mean, 1,000 to 2,500, not one video. And uh, so just thank you guys for the support. This is just a fun thing that, that I do, obviously. And uh, But it is a passion that I have is beer. It's a public service to you guys trying to help you out with your Christmas gifts and also so you can pair your beers with your foods, enhance your own living experience, uh, and it's been a whole lot of fun. And we've got viewers all over the country. I know this because that package that I mentioned before from UPS... Uh, came from uh, my friend Rob Plumley, who sent me these uh, these beers from California. So these uh, these this beer, this brewery that he sent them to me from, uh, particularly, it's got to be his favorites. Um, he sent me all these brews from Belching Beaver, which is in Oceanside, California. Um, he has sent me these beers before, not these beers. He has sent me beers from this brewery before. I haven't had any of the beers that are in front of you right now. Uh, I remember there was a great pumpkin spice that they had uh, that was fantastic, an IPA that I had before, but it wasn't one of the couple that he sent me this time. So um, I can't obviously do a review on all of these beers right now. It would take forever. None of you have the patience to do that. Look, I even wore my Leave It to Beaver shirt. I thought this was, that this was appropriate. We have Belching Beaver. We got, we got Beaver Cleaver. So I am, I am pumped and ready to do this beer review. So you see all these beers in front of you, and there's a lot of good-looking beers. Um, this one here, Belching Beaver uh, Deftones Phantom Bride. I'm excited to drink this one. Uh, here's another IPA here. This one is uh, Hoppy Hoppy Night IPA. We've also got uh, Old Dirty Barrel. That's uh, a little playoff of Old Dirty Bastard, I'm sure. Uh, Hop Highway IPA. We've got, uh, here comes Mango IPA. We've got Mexican Chocolate Peanut Butter Stout. Are you kidding me? And so, but there's one beer that I'm particularly stoked out of my mind to try. Uh, that was in this box. And so I'm going to push these guys aside here for just a second. And it's this one right here. It is Belching Beaver Brewery's Peanut Butter Milk Stout. So take a look. Take a look at that, that label there. That's what this beer is right here. And um, uh, I'm excited to try this one. 5.3% alcohol by volume. Uh, actually, they sent me a couple, of, a couple of swag things here. Damn good times. Get it? D-A-M. Belching Beaver. Ha ha ha. Uh, sent me a nice little pint glass here. Uh, I'm not too stoked about uh, trying a, a stout and a pint glass. We'll get our own glass here for that one. But thanks for the glass. Uh, I'm still going to give this the, uh, the Mo treatment though. So um, Belching Beaver, Peanut Butter Milk Stout, Stout with Natural Flavor. Uh, the cool thing about every one of the Belching Beaver um, uh, beers is whether it's in a can or it's in a bottle there's always a cool little story as to how they came about uh, whether it's the name or the brew or what have you uh, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna give this one a try here Belching Beaver one take no edits Mo Beer Mo Ho Ho during our beer advent here right now so uh, Belching Beaver we're gonna pop this puppy open and let's give this a pour we got our whole uh, Gang here in the bleachers. Nice dark pour on this one. Oh, Rook.
rookie poor, rookie poor. That's a terrible pour. However, let's look at some color here. I mean, that is dark as night. Nice chocolate looks. Oh, I can smell this thing already. I am holding this at arm's length away, and I can smell the peanut butter and the chocolate, a little hint of vanilla. I, a lot of times... When, you're, when you are taught, when you're going through your Cicerone test, when you're taught to, to smell beer and, and take in the aroma, there's a number of ways that you smell it. You have, you, know, you have a distant smell, you have a close smell, you have a closed smell, you have kind of the pull it to the nose smell. This one here, I have it at arm's length. Look at the, look at the head is still not dissipating. That is a beautiful, this is a beautiful looking beer. Peanut butter cup. Just peanut butter cup. So much peanutty chocolates oh my i can i'm already almost full from just the aroma and that's part of the dr beer drinking experience this this is amazing look at the lacing i uh, i was excited to drink this before now that i'm actually about to put this in my mouth here we go moho -ho -ho -mo beer Holy mother of Christmas. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right, family, friends, this is my last will and testament because I've died and gone to heaven. You can have everything that I own except for my Belching Beaver peanut butter milk stout. I want to be buried with this. This is insane. Where is my candy dish? Can candy dish. Remember the candy dish from a couple episodes before? I have refilled it with a Mr. Good Bar, by the way. I want a peanut butter cup. We always talk about pairings. I want to eat this. My peanut butter cup. My peanut butter milk stout. Oh, my. This is so good. This is um, this is absolutely amazing. I always talk about how important it is to break out if you like beer, if you don't like beer, and try different beers. Get away from the from what you always drink. It's okay to have a favorite. It's okay to have a go to. But if you never bust out, if you never pair different beers with different foods, you will never experience. Beer isn't just one thing. Beer is an array of different flavors and experiences. And this is a prime, prime example. This is one, this is the best stout I've ever had. You add that peanut butter flavor and you eat that peanut butter cup with it. I don't even know if I have any more in my candy dish here. I've got one more. Absolutely amazing. Belgian Beaver Brewery. I don't even know if they sell this in New England. For me, it, it's just worth it's worth having a friend in California and shipping it to you. It's worth driving out. I would drive 3,000 miles to drink this. This is incredible. Belgian Beaver Brewery, Peanut Butter Milk Stout, uh, Oceanside, California, only 5.3% alcohol. You can drink this big puppy and a couple more. Sitting by the fire, Christmas Eve, watching the snow outside, eating a peanut butter cup with your... I just need to end this now so I can finish this. Moho ho, mo beer. Enjoy the snow if you're on the East Coast. If you're on the West Coast, you better be making your way to Oceanside, California right now to the Belching Beaver Brewery to try this damn DAM good beer. Moho ho, mo beer. Merry Christmas. Oh my. Oh, <laughs> oh yum. Mm-hmm. <laughs>